This is going to be a quick overview of the NVIDIA GTX 1060 video card. I have the Asus Dual OC version here. Uh, the version comes in a nice white color. I like to call it the Siegfried and Roy edition. Um, I'll have some pictures later on in the video. Uh, the card also comes uh, factory overclocked. It has a 300 megahertz boost from the base clock of 1500. So this is boost to about 1800 megahertz. So some of the other features of this card is that it's VR ready. This is the six gig version. Uh, Asus does sell a three gig version, but I would highly suggest to get the three gig version. Um, the three gig, I'm not sure how well it will do with uh, 1080p ultra graphics gaming. I'm confident you'll be able to run games with this card at ultra performance on a 1080p resolution. Uh, this should also be able to run 1440p. Uh, you may have to, you know, reduce your graphics sound to high or a medium setting. All right, so I'm going to start the unboxing here. I've already gone ahead and uh, cut the sticker on the side. Ooh, nice black and gold Asus logo there. Okay, so here's the card. Um, the tiger white color, I guess, is what you could say. Um, looks pretty cool. It's pretty big here. All right, there we go. Um, I'll also put this in the light box so you can get a better view of it. Take a look at the uh, heatsink fan. Um, it's got two, I think, 80 millimeter fans on this guy. They might be 92. But yeah, here's the card. Now, I'm sure we get a few other goodies in here, I think. No, not really. Um... A World of Warships, I guess, free play here. Um, and the drivers, which are probably already outdated. So I always suggest to download those directly from NVIDIA. Um, I'm going to rip out my old card and uh, put this new one in. So I'm going to remove my old AMD 276 card from my PC here. It's pretty straightforward to remove this card. Now I'm doing this in reverse. I normally do this standing above my PC in the other direction. So just bear with me here. All right, there we go. The old one is out. Now, the white's a pretty bold color here. Um, I'm gonna see how it looks with all the, the black lights I have in my case here. Um, not sure if I'll keep the white. I might replace it and uh, water cool this card instead, but um, I'll, I'll see how it looks here. All right, last thing I gotta do here is just plug in the power. Yeah, this cable has two kind of 8-pin PCI Express um, connectors on it, so I'm going to have to clean this up or do something because it's not going to look that great. Uh, but for now, I'll just plug it in just so we can get this thing going. I ran three tests for benchmarking using an Intel 3570K CPU at 4 GHz, 16 gigs Patriot DDR3 memory, a Samsung Evo 850 SSD, and a Samsung 1080p monitor at 120 Hz.
So I've been using the card for a couple weeks now and the performance has been amazing. There's a bunch of positives and a couple negatives in regards to the card. Um, the card is a mid-range graphics card which offers ultra performance at a 1080p resolution. Um, it's great build quality from ASUS. The white heatsink fan is built well. They have great engineering with these heatsink fans and it feels very sturdy. The value for the card, I spent about $360 for it. Um, I have a $20 mail-in rebate as well. Um, so about $340, you can't go wrong with that. Um, in addition, the card only needs a one six pin power adapter. Some of the cards which offer this type of level of performance, um, you're gonna need two uh, six pins or even two eight pin connections. So not everyone has those in their power supply. So this is great for kind of everyone. Uh, some of the negatives with the card is that it offers no SLI, so you're kind of out of luck there. And the white color may not appeal to everyone. Um, it's, you know, like I said, a bold color. Um, so, you know, it, it might not work for everybody. But overall, this is a great card uh, for anyone looking to upgrade without spending about $600 or more. You know, that $350 price point is great. Um, and again, everything I threw at the card, I was able to do easily ultra performance, uh, maybe turn off, you know, motion blur and a couple things like that. But, you know, you're running everything at ultra. So, you know, totally a great buy. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe and leave a comment below. I'll see you next time.